Hey, what is up traders? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are the trader who does not use stop losses, then you must watch this video because you are at risk to lose your entire capital. My name is George and welcome back to Forex Gym. In this video, I'm going to talk about everything about the stop losses and why you should consider to using them. Okay guys, now let's briefly talk about why traders don't use stop losses. And of course, traders don't use stop losses because they do not want to lose. I don't like to lose and no one likes to lose because all that negative feelings and pain is associated with losing is it does not feel good. So maybe when the new traders, they start trading and then maybe they use that stop losses one or a few times and the market hits their stop loss and they take that loss and experience that pain the first choice comes into mind is okay i'm not gonna use stop losses and that might seems like a good solution but trust me it is not if you consider that you're gonna be on the trading for the long haul Unless you are trading for like a month and it gets whatever, uh, putting maybe small amounts and try to maximize it to get like thousands, uh, unlikely though. But if you're trying to put just a gamble for like a month or something and then forget completely about trading, then I would say, okay, just go ahead and do it, even though I wouldn't recommend it. But if that's your, if that's your main goal to just try it for a couple of weeks and then just forget about it, then you can do that. But if you're here for the long haul, then that is definitely not the way to go. And one more thing I want to mention about that, the greed, the human nature, we have this greed. So if, if you're a naturally greed-based person, or the greed-based trader, as we call it, then once you once you taste that, let's say you turn 100, 100 pounds into, I don't know, 5,000, once you experience that, even though you thought like, oh, I'm going to be just trading for a month and get, my goal is 5,000 to turn 100 into five grand. And when you get to that goal, the grid is going to take over and you will stay in there until eventually over the time you're going to lose money. And back to the topic, as I said, the traders don't like to use this stop loss because they do not want to lose money. But you have to accept it this is the part of the game and there's nothing you can do about it without not using the stop losses you can delay that loss eventually but the market will catch up on you it will find you eventually it might take uh, market for a long long time but there's gonna be that one trade that when you not use the stop loss and it's gonna start going against you, against you until eventually you're gonna hit the margin. Margin call just completely blow your account. So, and the other thing is when you're not using the stop losses, which is very uh, say, intoxicating in a way, is you're right more often or most of the times. So that feeling of being right is good. It feels good. So because you're not using stop loss, you you're not gonna get stopped out as as many times as someone who is stop losses because like I said I use stop losses and maybe let's say on 10 trades I'm probably wrong at least five times like that number can vary dramatically can be five six times or maybe I'm right seven times or eight times out of ten but that, that fluctuates uh, quite a bit but I know over the long run out of 100 trades i'm gonna make money and for most of the traders they want to be right in every trade at least nine out of or eight out of ten trades in other words they don't want to be wrong because it comes back to again the pain because when you're wrong and you lose money it does not feel good and we want to avoid that pain By not using stop loss, it gives you false sense of profitability. So what I mean by that? Let's say that you've been trading for six months. Pretty good. So you've been trading for six months and you're seeing pretty much the profit after profit after profit, or more or less like that. For, I don't know, out of, out of every 10 trade, you've been uh, winning eight trades, for instance, which is pretty good. 
So you've been you've been making money, so you see like win 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 win, then maybe a one or two losers, and because you close out trade or whatever, and then you see green green like the win win win, so the green green bars, the take profit hit has been hit, take profit has been hit, and you feel good because and it's been going up for six months. You will be already feeling super confident, and maybe because you probably already know that the statistics that about ninety percent of the traders lose money and you're thinking like wow i'm like so good because uh, I've, I've beat the statistics and i've been making money for this six months and yeah pretty early in trading and i'm, I'm already making money and it feels good but what you're doing is you just it just gives you that false sense of profitability because you you think that you are already a profitable trader which at that time being yes you are but that's not, gonna, that's not gonna last for a very long time if you're gonna keep continuing not using these stop losses. Because as I mentioned before, that's, let's say, luck, because you're not using stop losses and you're running the trades, because when you put the trade, that trade will go against you and then maybe you're just waiting and hoping that, oh, it's gonna turn around because the markets, they, they always turn around, they always come back and, and all that. And most of the times, yes, they do come back and then if you hold the trade for long enough, then yeah, it can kind of come back and, and go to your direction and eventually gonna hit that, you know, that take profit, whatever you have in your mind. But there's the time when it's not gonna come back. You might say that, oh, if I'm gonna, I don't know, if, if, if it goes down to the certain, certain level, I'm just gonna close the trade. But if, if you're in a trade and something happens, like unexpected news, it happens many times. The, the unexpected news comes, comes in and it moves the market. It happened already a number of times. You can also go back to the history and it happened many times. So if you don't have a stop loss in, then you are maybe not in front of the, um, your computer and then that news comes out and it just went against you. When you don't have a stop loss, you're already sitting minus whatever, 100, 1000 uh, points, depending on the severity of the news. And then when you come back to the, to your, uh, what about the computer, and you look at it, it's like, oh fuck, I'm, I'm already like sitting minus some money. Let's say you are sitting minus 10% of your capital. Then it won't be easy to just, like, oh yeah, I'm gonna close this trade. No, because you're thinking like, yeah, that's uh, already a lot of money. I'm sitting in a minus 10%, so I don't wanna lose that money. You're not gonna be thinking like, oh, better close this 10% and take that 10% uh, loss, then it's better to take the 10% loss rather than just take the 100% loss. But you're not gonna be thinking that way, so you're gonna be thinking, I wanna get that money back. And when you think you're gonna wait, okay, let's wait, this is probably gonna turn around, and the trade's gonna keep going against you, against you, against you, and then maybe gonna be hitting minus 20% or even more. And this type of event only needs to happen once. And once you caught into that event, let's say some news comes out, the negative, positive, whatever, the news comes out and you're in the wrong side of the market and you not have a stop loss in place and you are sitting, whatever, minus 10%, it only needs to happen once or it can be it can be some significant news which just hap just unexpectedly happen with which is not on the calendar and it just happen and you just end up on the wrong side of the market you're gonna be wiping out if not all the most of your account so think of it this way what is uh, what is your end goal if your end goal is to just like gamble for a few weeks or a month and then get all the whatever the most of the money out of the markets and then completely forget about the trading then yes you can do it but if your if your goal is to to be in the market for the long haul and the trading to become your lifestyle then i would definitely suggest you to use the stop loss if you want to be for the long term into trading. Uh, if you're not, then might as well do whatever you want. But my suggestion suggestion is to use the stop loss because at the end it's better to have the small losses number of times in a row or experience many losing trades and at the end you make money rather than do it in reverse. That's what the most traders do it. They do it in reverse. They experience this uh, winning trades in a number of times and at the end they come out as uh, losing traders. So now let's talk about why should trader use 
a stop loss. If you've been listening for this entire video, then you already should know why you need to use this stop loss. But I'm gonna add one or two things that to make even a clearer picture. And number one, and I would say this is the primary reason why I should trade up, why must trade I use this stop loss, is, and that's the primary, the main reason, main duty of the trader is, it's no, not to make money, the primary, the main reason of the trader is to protect your capital. That's your primary job as a trader, to protect your capital. If you do not protect your capital, then you're gonna be giving, giving it to the market. And yeah, you have to protect your capital. And I know a lot of traders forget that the, the primary reason is to protect your capital, but most of them they concentrate to make money. That's my job, that's my my duty as a trader to make money. It's not we are here to make money, but that's not your primary, uh, primary reason why you are a trader. The primary reason is to protect your capital. How many times I said that already? Yeah, and I'm gonna say it one more time. Protect your capital because no matter how much money you make from trading, if you do not protect that capital you already you already have, let's say you make 10,000. If, you, if you're gonna be taking the trades, just run the trades and giving all that money back, then you're not good as a trader because you're not protecting your capital. So protect your capital. So that's one of the good uh, ways to protect your capital is to use the stop loss because yes, you're gonna be giving this small, small, small amount when the market hits your stop loss, but that doesn't matter at the end because yeah, maybe you have like five, uh, five losers, uh, five losing trades in a row and then one trade gonna make all that money back. So it's not of a big deal. I know it feels different, but when you, when you know that you're gonna be making that money back. It doesn't matter you had one, two, three, or four or five losers. You know that within one or two trades, once you're gonna get that winning trades, you're gonna make that money back. So, as I said many times already, protect your capital. That's your primary job, your primary duty as a trader. And the second thing I wanna mention is your long-term financial goals. So I know that when the new traders, especially when they're getting into traders, they wanna make money quick. But what a sudden rush. Why are you so rushing so so much? The one one reason I would say is because the people like to compare uh, compare themselves to some other other traders. And then once when you see all these social media gurus, they're posting like, oh, I turned like 100, 100 pounds into 10 grand within like a month, which is a nonsense. Then you, you and you've been trading for maybe like a good few months and you, you don't even make uh, anything and you look at this or a guy or a girl, whoever that uh, fake guru is and oh, this guy just turned like so, such a small amount into such like huge amount and um, I feel like a, such a fucking loser. But you don't compare yourself to the other person. You don't compare, I don't compare myself to someone who has been uh, trading for 25 years. Because yeah, that person probably gonna be doing much better than me because I've only been trading like almost four years. And if someone who's been trading for like 20 or 25 years, that person has like way more experience. So instead of just like comparing it or being envious about it, and yeah, as I say, comparing it, learn from that person, but make sure that person is legit because there's a lot of people who is claiming to making millions and thousands of pounds, or thousands of dollars, whatever currency you wanna call it, but they are not legit. So make sure that person is legit, but instead of the comparing it, I wanna be, I want to make that money quick, is just learn from the person, if that person is legit and like legit trader, learn from that person. And another thing is don't rush the process because you know you can't force yourself to, Whatever strategy you can buy, any type of strategy, any course or any you know uh, whatever the robots or trading bots, whatever you call it, you you can't force the process. So just enjoy the process, learn as much as you can. And okay, put it put it this way, right? So you want to get make like a million million dollars. If if I tell you that, it's gonna take you five years. To from where you're at now, 
let's say you just started uh, started trading, it's gonna take you five years to make one million, uh, let's say dollars, one million pounds. So on my, I'm thinking in currencies in terms of the pounds, but let's say you, it's gonna take you five years to make one million pounds. You might think, oh, that's such a long time. Okay, maybe five years is you know relatively a long time. But think of it this way, if you probably are working full time, how long is it gonna take you to make one million with your job right now? Probably not gonna, I don't know, maybe 25 years or 50 years, depending what job you would do. But if you're working something what average person does and you get paid, you know, whatever the amount of uh, the wages are uh, on average, you're not gonna get in five years to make the one million pounds. So view it that way, that there is a potential for trading can make you can make millions eventually uh, but you, you're gonna require work so look at it this way with my job working full-time I know if when I was working my old job uh, working full-time 60 hours a week there is no no way in the world that I would make 1 million pounds with that job maybe after uh, 60 years even if you get promotion 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 but that's like a long shot so you learn that skill, which is trading. That skill, the trading skill is for a lifetime. So remember that, that you're learning this skill, not just like for few months or few years, that is a lifetime. But that comes back if you're passionate about trading, like I love trading, then I know I'm gonna, most likely I'm gonna trade maybe when, when I'm like 95 years old, I will be still in front of the computer and trading because I just love doing it so if you if you just into the trading just because the oh I want to make money but I hate trading then you should not be in this um, in this in the first place so just there's something to think about it and yeah as I said just look at it for the long haul and don't try to force the process don't try to rush the process and just enjoy the process and keep learning Thank you guys for watching. If you find this video helpful, please smash the like on this video. It really means a lot to me and it helps my channel immensely. So I do appreciate it if you smash the like. And if you've got any questions, you can leave it in the comment section below. I will get back to you as soon as I see your message and I have time, I will reply it. Also, if you're new to this channel, welcome to Forest Gym. This is my channel and my name is George. And don't forget to smash this subscribe button. I upload new videos every single week. Have a great day and I will see you guys in my next video.